First thing you're gonna notice is that the base of these flex fletch veins is a lot narrower than most other veins you've ever dealt with. So it's a really thin vein on the base, which I think helps get good contact on the shaft, which is probably what's causing your adhesion issues as much as anything. Um, but, you know, the main thing as far as lining it up, I always put it on the, on the jig and make sure before I start fletching that I've got good contact front to back. Um, you know, and I always use a helical. So this is a left helical, which is a little trickier to get good contact with, I found, than the right. But, um, you know, just making sure that you adjust the clamp side to side to where <clears throat> the vein is starting out at about the center point of the shaft. And then it's going to wrap to the left side slightly, you know, based on how much helical you're going to put on it. But, you know, adjusting the, the clamp magnet side of the clamp to where all that's lining up to where you've got good contact front to back. You know, if you fletch a fletch, put a couple fletchings on there and it doesn't look just right, strip them off, readjust, start all over. But, um, you know, getting good contact across the whole base is, is, is priority number one. The second thing <clears throat> is prepping the shaft. So with these veins, you don't have to prep the vein, but you do need to prep the shaft. I've been using these Max Clean wipes from AAE. I got these at the ATA show in a free pack. Uh, they seem to work pretty good. Um, just wipe the shaft down with that uh, before you fletch it. Let it air dry, and they seem to be sticking really, really well. Another um, backup plan for that, which I actually think is even a little bit better, is just taking a regular Scotch-Brite pad uh, with some dish soap and hot water and, and wash the fletching end of the uh, the arrow with with soapy um, dish soapy water and that scrubby pad and then let that air dry I think that's the absolute best thing that you can do but uh, the clean wipes are just a little faster so so then the next thing um, you know is getting the right amount of glue or priming <clears throat> the vein so the if you can just put glue straight on this vein put it straight on the arrow and it's gonna stick it's just gonna take it a lot longer to dry <clears throat> The uh, Zine Clean glue that I'm sending you has got a primer pin in there. That speeds up the set of the glue to about 30 seconds. So, I mean, it really speeds things up quickly. But when you get it out of the package, this tip's going to be dry. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is kind of take it to a paper towel and push down on it so you get a little bit of um, liquid coming out to that tip um, so that it's moist. And then you just take that and run it along the base of the vein. Um you know, a couple times, get it good and clean. Let that air dry before you put glue on it. But if you just try to take this and, and push down on the vein, you're gonna get way too much of that solvent and it's gonna ruin the vein. So you wanna just use a little bit of the solvent to prime that and not, not overdo it. If you get too much on there, the vein's gonna come out and it's gonna be all wavy and nasty looking. So that's air dried, you know, 30 seconds or so. Then just apply the glue. I put a... Uh, Put a full bead of the glue along the whole base of the vein. Some people do it a little differently, might use a Q-tip or whatever, but I just put a full bead down the base of the vein, fill in that, that channel real good. And this is the most important part so that you don't get a bunch of waste or a bunch of uh, squeeze out. I take that after I put the glue on it and dab it to a paper towel. Just dab the whole base of the vein. You can see where the glue is left on the paper towel. And what that does is that kind of spreads it out on there just and leaves just the right amount. You probably can't see that very good. Just the right amount so that you don't get a lot of excess. And it also uh, you know, spreads it out across the base of the vein nice and evenly. So literally, once you put that on there, hold it on there for about 15, 20 seconds, and then let go. And after 30 to 45 seconds, you can actually take that clamp off and put your next vein on if you're in a big hurry and you need to go that fast. Obviously the glue needs to set for a little while uh, before you shoot them through paper or try to even shoot them. But you know, if you're in a hurry just to fletch your veins, 30 seconds is all you need in order to, uh, to get good adhesion. So it's about that simple, dude. And I mean, literally you said it yourself, you can't hardly pull them off. So um, I've never had any issues with them sticking and this is, this is what I'm doing right now. So it seems to be working. Good luck, bud. Call me if you have any questions.